A pleasant day at lubos na pagbati everyone. We are Group 4 and we are here to discuss problem solving involving circle, parabola, ellipse, and hyperbola. For the first problem, we are going to solve a problem involving circle. A Wi-Fi router placed at 53 on a coordinate plane whose units represent meters can reach up to 25 meters in radius. Find the equation in standard form of the outer boundary of the region reached by the router. The standard form of the circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So, ang center natin from the problem is 5, 3 at ang radius is 25. Kailangan natin i-substitute ang value ng h, k, at r. So, ang h natin ay yung x coordinate at yung k is yung y coordinate. At yung r natin, which is yung radius, ay 25. So, magiging x minus 5 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 25 squared. Dahil positive ang given center sa ating equation, magiging negative siya pagdating sa standard form. Pero if negative ang center na nasa equation, magiging positive siya sa standard form. Sa radius naman, 25 squared, we need to multiply 25 by itself. So, 25 times 25 is equals to 625. Kaya ang ating magiging final answer is x minus 5 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 625. Now for the next problem, meron tayong parabola. So the cable of a suspension bridge forms a parabolic arc such that the lowest point of the cable is in the middle of two towers. The two towers are 200 meters high and 1,000 meters apart. The lowest point of the cable is 10 meters above the road and we have to find the height of the cable 300 meters away from a tower. So, para makakuha tayo ng idea sa itsura ng problem, try natin i-draw or represent yung problem based on given. So, dalawang towers at 210 meters high and is 1,000 meters apart. The lowest point of the cable is nasa gitna. So, the distance of the two towers, as already stated, is 1,000 meters. Ngayon, kung ang lowest point is nasa gitna, that will be 500 meters. At ang vertex ng parabola is at the lowest point of the cable, which is 10 meters above the road. So, that's that, and the road will be like the directrix. So, alam natin na the distance between the vertex and the directrix is the same distance with the focus. So, we are able to identify na ang focus is 10 meters above the vertex. But, we aren't really looking for that. So, now na may alam na tayo sa kung ano ang itura ng problem, let us solve this using the general form of a parabola. So, that's y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. We know that in the Cartesian plane, the y-axis is the vertical line. So, dito, yun yung height ng tower. The, so, the tower is 210 meters high from the ground and the cable is 10 meters above the ground. So, kailangan natin isubtract yung dalawa. So, it will become 210 meters minus 10 meters equals to 200 meters. So, y will be 200 meters meters. And ngayon, for x, that's the horizontal line. So, kung kukunin natin yung mga points that will be negative 500 comma 0, then 500 comma 0. So, negative 500 is x sub 1. So, yung 0 niya is yung y sub 1. Then, 500 is the x sub 2. So, 0 is y sub 2. Now na may value na tayo ng x and y, we will need to substitute those values. So that will be 200 is equals to a times negative 500 squared plus b times negative 500 plus 0. So that will be equation number 1. 
So, for equation number 2, it will be 200 is equal to A times 500 squared plus B times 500 plus 0. Now that we have our two equations, we have to subtract them. So, 200 minus 200 is 0. And 250,000 A will be cancelled. And negative minus positive. So, we know that when we subtract negative with positive, we just add the 2. So, that will be negative 1,000 B. So, 0 is equal to negative 1,000 B. Our B will equal to 0. So, our B is 0, and we know that C is also 0. Now, ang natitira na lang sa equation is y is equal to ax squared. Para masolve ito, kailangan natin hanapin si a. So, all we have to do is substitute the values. So, 200 is equal to a multiplied by 500 squared. At magiging 200 is equal to 250,000 a na siya. And it will become A is equal to 1 over 1,250. At ngayon na may A na tayo, we can solve for the equation by substituting the value of A. So from the equation Y is equal to AX squared, magiging Y is equal to 1 over 1,250X squared. Pero hindi pa matatapos doon yun. Ngayon, need nating i-add yung distance or height from the road which is 10 meters. So, that will become y is equal to 1 over 1,250 x squared plus 10. We are being asked na hanapin yung height ng cable 300 meters away from a tower. Since meters away from a tower siya at hindi naman away from the tower ang sinasabi sa problem, we will subtract 500 meters and 300 meters that will equal to 200. So, our x will be 200. So, isa-substitute natin yung 200 sa equation. Magiging y is equal to 1 over 1,250 times 200 squared plus 10. So, y will equal to 42 meters. Therefore, the height of the cable 300 meters away from a tower is 42 meters. As you can see on the screen, the next topic we'll discuss is about the ellipse. So we have a word problem to solve. The word problem is, A whispering chamber is an elliptical chamber where a whisper from one focus of the chamber can be heard to the other focus. Gary is standing at one focus of a whispering chamber and is 10 feet away from the nearest wall. His friend, Gabrielle, wants to hear his whisper so he stands 40 feet away from him how high is the ceiling of the whispering chamber at the center uh, since sinabi sa given problem ay focus to focus para magkarinigan at si Gary ay nakatayo sa isang focus at ang kaibigan niya si Gabriel ay tumayo 4 feet away from him ang tanong daw ay paano nating malalaman kung gaano kataas ang ceiling ng whispering chamber at the center? Now, we will explain how and what equation we use in this word problem. First, we will find the value of A, B, and C. So, para makuha natin ang A, i-add natin ang 20 at 10, so makukuha natin ay 30. Nakuha naman natin ang 20 dahil ito ang kalahati ng 40 feet at 10 naman dahil sa given na 10 feet away from the nearest wall. So, makukuha naman natin ang value ng C gamit ang 40 feet na given. Since ang 40 feet ay magiging haba ng ating fossae, kaya kapag ikinalahati ay magiging 20 siya. Kaya ito ang value ng isang focus. At dahil may value na ang ating a at c, isa-substitute na natin ang nakuwang value. So, a squared equals c squared plus b squared ay magiging 30 squared equals 20 squared plus b squared. So, the formula of the ellipse is a equals 30 and c equals 20. a squared equals c squared plus b squared, 30 squared equals 20 squared plus b squared. 
So, substitute natin magiging b squared equals 30 squared minus 20 squared. b is equals to square root of 900 minus 400. b is equals to square root of 500. So, this will be b is equals to 22.36. Since nakuha na natin ang ceiling of the whisper chamber niya kung gaano kalayo o kataas si Gabriel K. Gary. So, now, gagawa na natin siya ng conclusion. Since ang tinatanong, how high is the ceiling of the whisper chamber at the center? So, our conclusion will be, therefore, the ceiling of the whisper chamber is 22.36 feet at the center. So, for the last problem, what is the equation of a hyperbola whose center is at the origin as a horizontal principal axis, the value of A is 4, and the point 0.914 is on the hyperbola. For the last problem, we are going to find the standard equation of the hyperbola with the given A equals to 4, and the point 0.9 and 14 on the hyperbola. So, kailangan natin hanapin ang ating B squared para masulat siya in standard form. So, first, since the 9 and 14 is on the hyperbola, yan ang magiging value ng ating X and Y. Since the hyperbola is in the origin, ang center natin ay 0, 0. Therefore, ang principal axis natin is horizontal. And standard form natin ay look like this. x minus h is squared over a is squared minus y minus k is squared over b is squared equals to 1. Let's substitute the 9 and 14 to the x and y. 9 minus 0 is squared over 4 is squared minus 14 minus 0 squared over b squared equals to 1. So, paano natin mahanap ang ating b squared? First, is we will operate our equation na nagawa natin kanina. So, 9 minus 0 squared over 16 is equal to 81 over 16. 14 minus 0 squared over b squared is equal to y96. Why naging 16? Because if we multiply the given which is 4, ang sagot ay 16. So, tapos na natin silang i-operate. So, para mahanap natin ang B squared, is gagamitin natin ang butterfly, butterfly method at pagpapalitin natin ang place ang ating 1 and 196 over B squared. Before tayo mag butterfly method, first is kailangan natin ilipat ang 196 over b squared sa labas ng equal sign at ang ating 1 naman ay ililipat natin sa loob. So, so magiging ganito siya, 81 over 16, negative 1 equal 196 over b squared or 81 over 16 minus 16 over 16 is equal to 196 over b squared. Tapos ay i-operate natin ang 81 over 16 minus 16 over 16. We're going to subtract 81 minus 16 is equal to 65. Then we copy the denominator so magiging 65 over 16 siya. So magbabutterfly method na tayo. On this part, 65 over 16 is equal to 196 over b squared. And 65, multi 65 multiplied by b squared is equal to 65 b squared. And 16 multiplied to 196 is equal to 3136. Divide both, divide both sides by 65 to get the b squared. 65b squared is equal to 3136 divided by 65. Cancel the 65, then b squared na lang ang matitira, then 3136 divided by 65 is equal to 48.25. So, pwede na natin... So, pwede na natin siya isulat sa standard equation because we have our b squared na. Therefore, the standard equation of the hyperbola given in the word, pro word problem is x squared over 16 minus y squared over 48.25 is equal to 1 or x squared over 4 squared minus y squared 
over 6.95 squared is equal to 1. Now that we are done solving each problem involving circle, parabola, ellipse, and hyperbola, we're hoping you've learned something new. Thank you for listening!